A local program has become the first in Canada to equip more than 1,000 cardiac patients with a remote monitoring system for their heart rhythm devices, reducing unnecessary hospital and emergency department visits. About 1,200 patients, mostly in southern Alberta, are now using the Medtronic CareLink system. It allows local health care providers within Alberta Health Services to remotely monitor patients who have pacemakers, defibrillators, cardiac resynchronization and implantable heart monitors. This is a demo model of an implantable cardioverter defibrillator. Um, it's a generator that is implanted in the usually the left upper chest and has one, two or three leads that are inserted through the veins in the upper chest into the heart and the purpose of uh, this generator is to monitor the heart beats and if necessary pace to keep up the heart rate and also to treat any fast heart rhythm disturbances with either overdrive rapid pacing or the actual delivery of a shock from the device. The remote monitoring system, fully funded by AHS, uses a small bedside monitor about the size of a clock radio which transmits data from the heart rhythm device over a phone line to a secure server. The device data is then reviewed by clinical staff. It, information retrieved from the generator and also for programming purposes. We can put the uh, in-clinic programmer wand over top to provide the link that allows us to program or adjust settings. Um, from home, they have this monitor that downloads the information that the device has stored since the previous time they were seen. And we can pull this up on our clinic website so that we can look and see the, you know, how the device has been functioning. Well, the, the major advantage is convenience. So we have patients that come from many uh, hundreds of kilometers away, and this replaces their need to come to Calgary to be seen by us and to have the device checked. So everything that we can record during a visit in the office, we can also record over the phone lines through this uh, remote monitoring system. It saves me travel time. It allows me to travel more conveniently when I go to the United States or, or elsewhere in the world. I can take the device with me. And uh, I think for me the big thing is peace of mind and knowing that when there is something that I don't understand, I can find out fairly quickly whether it's something to worry about. So we don't use this as an emergency response system. It's not meant to replace patients needing to go to the emergency room if something urgent happens. But it also will advise us if something isn't working well with the device. If we sign on to the system, we'll see that there's something wrong. We can call the patient. And in several cases, it's actually resulted in the patient getting to the hospital before they ever knew something was wrong with their device and being able to deal with things in a very quick fashion and to be able to save the patient a lot of grief and suffering. don't have to travel to the hospital as often to interrogate the device. And it gives me peace of mind if I've felt something that I'm not sure what it is. I can do a transmit and somebody will phone me back in fairly short order and tell me that there either is something to worry about or there's nothing to worry about, which is usually the case we can replace a lot of our routine follow-up visits with these remote visits. So if a patient needed to come in every three months or every six months, we could cut down that to seeing patients once a year. So it's far more convenient for the patients, it's far more convenient for our staff in terms of scheduling, and it can greatly reduce the number of visits. In 2004, the Calgary program was the first in Canada to use CareLink, which was designed in the U.S. and is now used in most major North American centers for early recognition and prompt correction of an irregular heartbeat. A similar program is being developed in Edmonton to serve patients throughout northern Alberta.